Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tsarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and also Capricorn Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading October 18th up until October 24th, uh, 2021. And uh, should you be interested, guys, in a pers personal reading with me, or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services and as well if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well uh, live streams. So with that being said, moving to the Capricorn reading, the very first card you Capricorn have, that is going to be the Ten of Swords, uh, followed by the second card here, which stands as the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, that will be the Page of Swords, uh, followed by the fourth card of your spread, that stands as the Four of Swords, and the last one we have, that is going to be the Eight of Wands. My God, so such a... Uh, colorful week it's gonna be like a rainbow ultimately at the end i mean uh people freak out when they see the ten of swords but yeah i mean ten of swords it's a rather nasty card when it comes to going through it but it, it always has a um how can i say a cleansing effect upon one's life uh that is because through ten of swords we are getting done with certain stuff okay and uh once you are done with whatever you are trying to do here or whatever it is bothering your life then obviously the ace of pentacles plays out and that is where the from there the times are going to improve and uh starting to scrutinize the reading here with the ten of swords right at the start of the week either something is gonna go wrong or simply the knife is gonna hit the bone so hard that it is simply you cannot stand it any longer Ten of Swords, it is like a forceful severing with something, okay? Forceful severing with um, uh, with a friend, for example. Forceful severing with uh, with a job or severing with, with, with the loved one, okay? With a relationship. It is a, for the most part, a severance. That is because Ten of Swords calls upon... A drastic measure or a drastic action, a drastic decision is to be taken. Or rather, a irreversible act or irrevocable choice. It is to be done. Like the choice, I'm done with this one, I'm leaving. Like the act of I'm going to do this and, and that's it. And the like I said, the, uh, the property of it. It is that once it's done, there is no going back from it. And it is like the last resort thing. It is the that drastic thing that you just can't fix or rather like you can't take back afterward it could be a word you know it could be an act it could be a choice whatever but the thing with the ten of swords is, is that once it's done it's uh, afterwards a new dawn it is on the horizon just like with the person here that we do have and uh, yeah i mean at the start of the week something really i can't say bad or nasty i would use the word unpleasant is to happen to you that you will simply have to go through it uh determinately and irre irrevocably reversibly tenaciously i don't know how to say it but once you do pass through this day because the ten of swords is a card that plays out very very fast or very rapidly it's there for day or two and even hours in some cases afterwards a huge relief it is that you are to um how can I say, to experience, and from there, like I said, a new dawn into your life, into your relationship life, into your business life, you know, into your, uh, into your friendship life, whatever the Ten of Swords is reflecting in your life. And uh, right after that, the Ace of Pentacles plays out for you, and the Ace of Pentacles, right after you do make that um, irrevocable uh, decision or irreversible action you get to enjoy a rare opportunity to further your goal like to further the goal to be successful to further the goal to be lucrative to further the goal to be loved the thing is that once you do make that very difficult 
push with the Ten of Swords. Afterwards, you are to experience content, uh, joyfulness, um, exhilaration, even ecstasy in some particular cases, because what follows after it is a very good business maneuvers, very successful business maneuvers, and as well, a harmonious relationships should you keep up with the... Um, with a love life and the ten of swords doesn't have to be an any extreme severance like you know um leaving up your relationship it could be a severance with a way that this relationship is going forward you know severance with some kind of a habit or some kind of an aspect in there all right it doesn't have to be a a global thing and right after the um Ace of Pentacles plays out for you where you do have your opportunity to further your goal where you're simply going to nurture from there and grow. This person shows up, which is the Page of Swords. I'm curious how that person plays out for you. We do have the Three of Pentacles. Well, that is in an individual that simply doesn't listen, okay? I don't know what role they're going to play into your life, but for one or another reason, you will have to kind of like interact with them and they simply don't listen nor they can provide any fruitful discussion nor that they can provide any fruitful cooperation they cannot as well provide any um, how can i say um constructive criticism so to speak that is in an individual who has their own view for the world and their own view is unfathomable for for anybody else and for that reason that individual feels like they're the lonely wolf out there they they're in a world where it is free for all okay uh, they're constantly misunderstood they're constantly smothered they're constantly um, um how can i say apprehended they're constantly um undermined but that is their own view uh, that that's not exactly the reality and uh like i said i don't know how they exactly gonna play out but my my suspicious here it is that they are simply gonna be uh, an individual that you cannot get rid of that easily because for some kind of a tides or connections but they are going to cause a plight or a predicament simply because you cannot make them work harmoniously with you either in friendship or either into uh into career you know that could be that person into your social circle that you just cannot get rid of and they are always there making a disturbance they are always there that stands against whomever says anything and uh right after that uh, the four of swords uh plays out for you which is towards the end of the week capricorn and that is where you will you wouldn't even remember that you had to make that difficult push at the start of the week where you have to render your verdict make your adjudication and whatever happens happens afterwards here with the four of swords you are to see how your concerns how your plights you know how how your problems and difficulties are start abating to a point where the diminishing is going to be so big that they will no longer going to have a relevance into your life that is the moment towards the end of the week where you are to restrict your social interactions only amongst those which you trust the most only among those that you consider as a faithful companions and you're going to start deliberating something i don't know what this is going to be about it's going to be very um singular or rather like a uh, how can i say um unique for every single one of you some of you are going to deliberate love other are going to deliberate specific situation within love others a career thing you know but the point is, is that you are going to surround yourself with not just only people that understand you but as well people that are capable of giving you an objective opinion an objective view regardless how good friends uh, you are and another thing about the four of swords it is a energies of healing i am not a doctor okay but at that point you can't expect to feel better than before in terms of a physical health that doesn't mean that if you have something wrong with you in term of uh, in term of physical health you shouldn't see you shouldn't go and see a doctor you definitely gotta go and see a doctor here it is just you will feel uh, if not anything else a little bit better than before 
and uh, the last one which is towards the end of the week we do have uh, the uh, Eight of Wands and that card, it is a very dynamic card. It does point that at the end of the week, things are gonna open up for you. You are going to have a lot of things to do, but the thing with the Eight of Wands is that you get to decide what you want to do if you are a linear person you can just choose one of amongst many if you are a dynamic person you can choose many amongst many uh the thing about the eight of wands though it is that you have to be rather objective of how far your limits are stretching and how much you can carry on because eight of wands does not protect you from a failure unlike the wheel of fortune and so you have to face any of these opportunities with a clear-headed mind so you do not deprive yourself of any results and even worse deprive yourself from a possessions that you currently have and so with that being said capricorn this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh october 18th up until october 24th 2021 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we are to see each other next time until then bye